Alright, so now we're going to set up a simulation environment using a predefined configuration file. So this is just a little faster. So, um, to do this, first we need to get the file, um, which I have here, and we'll just copy everything to somewhere. I mean, you can copy it to your home directory or whatnot. For here I'll just show you copying it to the desktop so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, so you just extract the zip file. Okay. Um, and then we go to ISE, you go open project and you navigate to where you just extracted that um, and open lab 1. So this opens the file and at the top here make sure it's set to simulation sometimes it switches um, and you can just double click on the UUT this gates dot uh, schematic so this has everything basically already set up for you um, we'll use the plus here to zoom in a bit and you can see there's two inputs and two outputs uh, these buffers are just input and output buffers you can ignore them um, so in between here you just draw whatever schematic you want um, just two inputs one output so through the lab for example you're going to be testing some various gate types let's let me try uh, XNOR um, two inputs so we drop that there hit escape to stop it um, and use add wire to connect A to one input B to the other input the output to Y. There you go. Um, so close gates.schematic and save the changes. And then back here, click on the test bench. Um, if you just open this out of interest, this is what's called a Verilog uh, test bench and it applies some stimulus. So it's applying a binary counter to it. So it'll cycle through every possible input. Um, again, close that. So if you click just once on the test bench file, um, not your schematic, but the one above that, you'll have an option here, and it, you might have to hit the little plus to have simulate behavioral model. So double click on that, um, and it takes a second to run it through, and this will run the simulation for you. Um, so it automatically runs and goes to finish. So switch over here to the waveform um, window and this waveform window will show you the inputs and outputs uh, if needed you may have to zoom out sometimes it zooms in too far and you can scroll around in time so go back to the original view here um, on the left here you have the names of the various signals so A and B were the inputs and Y is the output um, so as you go through time, here I'm dragging this line, uh, first for example we have A and B are 0, the output is 1, so you can record that in the truth table for the observations area of the lab. Um, here now A is 1, B is 0, again find that line in the truth table and record the output Y. Um, B is 1, A is 0, record that output in the truth table, and finally when A and B are both 1, the output's 1, so again we record this in the truth table. Um, when you want to test a different gate, uh, close just the simulator window. It'll ask you, and that's fine, you're just closing the simulator. Um, go back to your schematic here and change whatever you want to change. So I can drop a different gate in here. Um, and again, to get the gates, you go to the Symbols tab and you select logic as the category and let's do a say two input NOR gate so NOR 2 and you can actually drop that right in the same spot uh, you should see those red rectangles disappear if they don't disappear you may have done the connections incorrectly so you can just delete the line and reconnect it if you need to um, so Let's do that again, save it, and again you simulate the model, and after a second your simulation window pops up, and go to your waveform results, and there you go. Um, 
So make sure you scroll all the way over to get all the results and then again record each line 001 in the truth table and that's your observations.